New at 6, it's being called the only treatment for high-risk patients battling COVID-19, monoclonal antibody treatment. Doctors are using it on patients across the country, but doses are going unused. Two Works Fuse's Brady Halblib spoke with the patient and joins us in the studio with his message. Brady? Karen, thanks. Similar to the vaccine, monoclonal antibody treatment uses antibodies to fight the COVID infection and prevent hospitalizations for high-risk patients. Registered nurse Chad Seawright says he wouldn't be here today without that life-saving treatment. And it wasn't until his health took a sharp downward turn after contracting the virus that he finally signed up. My gut, I was telling me I was going to get worse. I was going to end up in the hospital. Chad Seawright contracted the virus after working as a nurse at OU Health. With a wife and kids at home, it was important for him to get better and stay out of the hospital. And so I felt that it was the best option for me to stay out of the hospital. A colleague at OU Health referring him to the treatment, the FDA authorizing the drug for emergency use back in November. And although it's not fully approved, early studies show it can help prevent the infection from getting worse in high-risk patients. I honestly believe um, that it helped me immensely. So far, C. Wright is only among 50 other patients to receive the experimental treatment. OU physician Dr. Rachel Franklin says there are a few reasons why. First, people are not aware of it, so they don't know that you have to get it early in the course of illness. Well, by the time you're a week to 10 days out, we probably won't be able to get you that infusion. The next problem isn't its supply, but rather the staff to administer the drug and the space for the patient's infusion. This infusion takes about an hour to run into your body through an IV, and then you have to be monitored by a registered nurse for another hour. Patients must also meet a strict criteria to receive the treatment. At OSU Medical Center, you must have a body mass index greater than 35, have a chronic kidney disease, have diabetes, have an immune suppressive disease, are 65 or older, or 55 and older with underlying health issues. Hopefully prevent them from getting so sick that they are admitted to the intensive care unit uh, and potentially die. With hospitalization rates at an all-time high, the treatment could help ease the strain. It helped keep me out of the hospital, it helped me get back to work sooner, and it helped protect my family. And we're told all the major Tulsa area hospitals are providing the treatment. And because we're still in a state of emergency with the pandemic, the treatment is free. Brady Halbleib, to work for you.